Good evening, welcome to the garden. It is a chilly night and which made me think of a concept I wanted to share before I go inside and snuggle under a blankie in my front room for the rest of the night. Um, and that is how do you choose your planting date when spring is behaving a little differently than you anticipated. It's a little bit colder this time of year than it usually is. And so I wanna just bring up three points um, and feel free to use the comment section if you wanna engage in the conversation. Um, number one is the typical way we choose when our spring planting date is gonna be, and that is to know your last spring frost date. The easiest way to do that is to get online and look for your city and your state and type in the words last spring frost date. And that will help you understand the climate data based on um, years of gathered um, weather information for your area um, to say, you know, after this date, the danger of there being a frost is really low. That's when you know it's safe to put out those plants that are not uh, cold tolerant. So that would be your tomatoes, eggplant, peppers, squashes, melons, those types of things. And so that's that becomes your planting date, that date or after. Um, and then you can use that date to understand when to put in the cooler weather uh, crops. So before that, say your date is April 1st. Um, before that date, by 30 days, you can put pea seeds in the ground because they are cold tolerant. They don't mind being in the cold ground. And then somewhere around 45 days, maybe you'll put um, carrot seeds in the ground or 30 days prior to that date, maybe you'll put your uh, beets in the ground. So that sort of thing helps us to understand, okay, the crops that can't tolerate cold need to go in after that date and the cold weather crops can go in, you know, incrementally before that date. Okay, so that's knowledge based on average temperatures, uh, climate data over the years. Generally speaking, you can rest assured that you can put your plants out after that date. Okay, but tip number two is based on, well, what is your weather really doing right now at this moment? And at this moment, it's it's really cold. And I don't think I will put out tomatoes and peppers and all those things on Saturday as I planned to do. This coming Saturday is April 1st. That was my planting out date. But it's cold. Um, so what am I looking for? I'm looking for, for my tomatoes, for daytime temperatures to be consistently close-ish to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the nighttime temperatures to be consistently close-ish to 50. Maybe sometimes it drops a little below that, and um, but close, close anyways. So if you look at your weather app, and you look at your 10-day forecast, and you see, you know what, the days are still in the 40s and the 50s, and sometimes we get up to 65 on a nice, beautiful day, and maybe we wanna plant out, but that's not consistency, that's one day of that temperature, um, or maybe two days, and we're like, oh, ready to plant. Well, not if it's falling back into 30 degrees, 28 degrees at nighttime temperatures, that's very stressful for those plants that are not cold tolerant. So um, I am waiting. I'm waiting to see what the actual weather does in addition to knowing, you know, I had planned to plant out um, on April 1st based on the last spring frost date, but maybe I won't. Maybe I'm gonna hold off. Okay, so that's number two. So number one, know your last spring frost date, and that will give you an idea of when you can plant out. Two, as you're approaching that date, look at what the weather's really doing, and look for days in the 70s and nights in the 50s for those plants that aren't cold tolerant. And then here's number three. This is a fun one, I think. Um, a friend of mine, is, has put in her tomatoes and I'm excited to see what comes of it because what she did is she dug a cylinder of a hole about a foot down. The tomatoes are planted at the bottom of the hole and the foliage of the tomatoes is still 
within the depth of that hole. Will that or won't that be enough protection from freezes and frosts over the next um, week or won't it? I'm so excited to find out. And so tip number three is it's your garden. If you want to run trials and you want to see, well, will this or won't this work? Um, you know, why not give it a try? So I'm all for trials. I think it's an exciting way to garden and, and see what, what the potential is, what, what we could really do in our garden spaces. I hope that is all helpful information. Um, maybe that's helpful, particularly in our area where the weather is different this year. And I think it's different for maybe other people in other areas. So I hope that is good information to ponder. And if you're pondering anything about your planting dates, I hope you'll connect in the comments section and we can engage there. Till then, happy gardening.